Synaptic One Place Mail provides seamless integration from desktop applications such as Microsoft Outlook, Office, Word, Excel and PowerPoint, and File Explorer to the Microsoft SharePoint platform. Welcome to this first in a series of screencasts demonstrating the capabilities of One Place Mail and the benefits delivered by the user adoption of SharePoint as an information and records management platform. During this screencast, we'll be using a very simple SharePoint 2010 site. One Place Mail supports SharePoint 2007 and SharePoint 2010, including the respective WSS v3 and SharePoint Foundation server. One Place Mail works within your existing SharePoint environment. However, you may have configured your existing libraries and lists, content types, columns, default values, check-in, check-out, etc. One Place Mail will simply adhere to these configurations and enable the user to transfer content to SharePoint. In this and future screencasts, we'll be filing information into a document library called Email Library. This is a standard document library with some additional columns to find to store the automatically captured email attributes. We will also be using the following example document library. Again, a standard document library with a SharePoint folder structure to find. This particular library contains multiple content types and SharePoint columns including the enterprise keywords and the manage metadata columns. We'll also use some of the other standard libraries and lists provided by SharePoint to show the capabilities of One Place Mail. One Place Mail is not adding or removing any security. It is simply adhering to however you have defined your security within SharePoint. Let's take a look at the Outlook interface. Whether you are using Outlook 2003, 2007 or 2010, One Place Mail works the same and continues to feel like a natural extension to Outlook. In 2010, taking advantage of the new ribbon interface. One Place Mail provides a copy to SharePoint and a move to SharePoint button. These buttons can be renamed or one or both buttons can be hidden from the user. The One Place Mail ribbon or menu in the case of Outlook 2003 and 2007 provides the ability to manage One Place Mail settings and the SharePoint libraries and lists you would like to make available within the My One Place Mail area on the left navigation of Outlook. These buttons or menus can be renamed or hidden completely from the Outlook user. The My One Place Mail section can also be renamed to meet any internal branding you may have defined for your SharePoint platform. Now let's take a closer look at these folders on the left navigation of Outlook. With Outlook being your personal information management environment, the place where we spend so much time every day, it is important for Outlook to be organised in a manner that works for the current user, taking into account their role, responsibility and the requirement for timely access to information. Many clients with SharePoint installed have literally thousands of site collections, with even more libraries for the users to contend with. Therefore, the site structure is most likely represented in a manner different to how the business user sees the world for their daily tasks they have at hand. One Place Mail has addressed this potential issue by allowing the creation of a folder structure on the left navigation of Outlook representing SharePoint in a manner that works best for the current user. The My One Place Mail area is managed by selecting Manage My One Place Mail Holders. On the left side, you will see one or more site collections made available to the current user. The sites and libraries are security trimmed. Therefore, the user will only have access to view libraries that have been granted permission within SharePoint. You can add one or more libraries to the My One Place Mail area by using the Add button or by dragging and dropping the library to the right hand side. Within the My One Place Mail area, you can create one or more levels of folder structure to place the relevant SharePoint libraries and lists. You can simply add the libraries or lists within the folder structure that best suits your work pattern and responsibilities. You can also rename any of the libraries to meet your needs without impacting the libraries in SharePoint. When I click OK, you will see on the left hand side of Outlook the new folder structure and the library I've just added. You can simply drag and drop emails or attachments to this location and they'll be placed directly into SharePoint. Let's take a closer look at these folders representing SharePoint libraries. If I select the email library that has already been included in the My One Place Mail area, you will see that I can define the upload and post upload behavior for any emails, attachments, files or documents I transfer to this library. I'm going to retain the auto upload option to demonstrate a user dragging and dropping emails from Outlook to SharePoint, capturing email attributes automatically and without prompting the user for any additional destination column information that may have been defined in the destination SharePoint library and content type. I'm also going to suppress the upload results and post upload actions window from appearing after the upload has completed. In further screencasts, I'll demonstrate some more sophisticated examples where a user can complete filing information at the point of upload by setting the upload process to select upload location and edit properties. The complete folder structure and upload options for each library can be managed and deployed 
to one or more users centrally. This is ideal for project-orientated organizations where it may be desirable to deploy specific libraries to one or more users as part of a business process. Okay, let's close the window and see one place mail in action from a user's perspective. In this first scenario, I'll select four emails from my inbox. The emails may contain attachments and simply drag and drop them to the email library. I can perform a move or a copy operation when transferring the files. I'll perform a copy in this case. One place mail transfers the emails directly to SharePoint in the native MS2 format, capturing all the email attributes automatically. As we have defined this library to be an automatic upload, one place mail is not prompting the user for any additional filing information. From the user's perspective, the emails and all the associated attachments are now in SharePoint, as denoted by the transferred to SharePoint category in this email. Let's have a look at SharePoint to see the results. As you can see, the four emails have been uploaded in their native MS3 format with all the email attributes captured and promoted to SharePoint columns. If we go back to Outlook, we can also access these emails directly from within Outlook by clicking on the email library. This streamlines the process for accessing emails and documents and the powerful capabilities SharePoint provides. You can also define how you would like the SharePoint interface represented when viewed via Outlook, as shown in this example called the Minimal View. We have chosen to remove the left navigation from the library when viewed via Outlook. You have full control over this area to decide how it should work for your organisation. This screencast has demonstrated the seamless connectivity OnePlace Mail provides to SharePoint and how it feels like a natural extension to the Outlook client. The next screencast shows some more sophisticated integration between Microsoft Outlook and SharePoint, including the drag and drop of emails and the completion of column information, including the enterprise and managed keywords, drag and drop of email attachments, emails being sent and saved directly to SharePoint, and attachment management. Thank you for viewing this introduction one place mail screencast.